L.A. Times got a letter just like that about two hours ago. He knows that, Billy. This guy's serious? He's serious about the way he pulled the job. He knew exactly how long to stay inside and what to take. Listen, Captain, I have this friend. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you involved with this case? I'd already assigned you and Taggart to the Peterson extortion case. Fogel Mill, get your men in here. Come on. Can't keep God waiting. I don't want to hear that kind of talk, Sergeant. Well, come on, Andy. He's fired every cop who worked for the old chief. The three of us are all that's left. He's still the head of this department, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Very smart, Billy. Listen, I have an unofficial relationship with this dude. Dude? Dude? We're not even supposed to be working on this case. Come on, Sarge. I know you have domestic troubles, but you gotta cool out, relax. Things like this work out. Trust me. You moron. You called the supervising agent of the goddamn FBI to help break this alphabet code? This is a local crime. My men will solve it locally, Roseweed. Sir, my name's not Roseweed. Oh, shut up, please. And you, Captain Bogamy. This alphabet investigation was your baby. Did you call the goddamn FBI? Did you order this Rosewood to do that, huh? Did you? No, sir. Captain Bogomel didn't know anything about it. I, I said know. shut up. Sir, Captain Bogomel didn't call the FBI. I did. I said shut up. I'm waiting on you, Andrew. Did you order him to call the goddamn FBI or what? No, sir, but that's beside the point. No, that, that, that is exactly the point. Thank you. Your history, kiddo. You know as well as I do that half of police work are cops following their hunches. They get a gut reaction to something, they go with it. Uh -huh. I've encouraged this in my men, and I'm standing behind Rosewood on this all the way. Good. Tell me something, Andrew. How the hell do you still consider yourself a commanding officer? You can't even maintain a supervisory relationship with your own personnel. And now you've superseded the chain of command. As of this moment, you are suspended. What? Shut up! On what grounds? You have no knowledge of nor control over your own troops' activities. God damn it, Harold, you can't do this. I can't do it! I will not have this investigation pissed away. And this crime, this robbery, could be a, a political disaster for the mayor right here. Have you ever heard of due process? Policy requires us to give you a board of review within two days. You got two days. I'm fighting you on this, Harold. Chief Lutz to you. Where are you going? I'm not through with you two guys. Now, would you two boys like to hold on to your jobs just a little while longer? You report to traffic duty, effective immediately. Yes, sir.
value of such benefits is cable TV hey, and cooks the laundry late. service. Repeating now the hour's top story from the L.A. news desk, police captain Andrew Bogomil has been gunned down in broad daylight. Captain Bogomil is alive, though he is in critical condition. He, of course, was leading the investigation into the so-called alphabet crimes. And now, Jim, back to you. In Bayonne, New Jersey, 60 people evacuated after getting... Beverly Hills Police Department. Yeah, this is Detective Axel Foley of the Detroit Police Department. Oh, you mean the one that was... Yeah, that one. Listen, I just found out what happened. Can somebody pass me into the, into the hospital that Bogomil's in? Certainly, sir. Thank you. Hello? Yeah, who is this? It's Jan. I just found out what... I'm sorry, what happened? They operated on him, Axel. He's gonna be okay. I mean... I think he's gonna be okay. Yes, Billy. Respiratory technicians in intensive care. Axel. This guy really nailed him. Set him up, cold blood. Who? This alphabet bandit. Well, are you on the case? Who's on the case? It's all... It's all politics here now, Axel. I don't, uh... I don't think they're gonna let me in Taggart on it. Hold on a minute. Hey, Ace! Yeah, I'll be on in a minute! Take care, Jen, all right? Axel. Axel. Hey, Ace! I'm sorry I'm late, but I run into this broad. You're the fucking guy with the truckload of cigarettes that day. Remember I told you about him? You told the cops he was from Buffalo? Hey, man, take off your glasses. I thought that was you, man. You almost got busted. I did get busted. I lost my whole investment because of you. Vinny, what the hell is wrong with you, man? You know I'm a businessman. I got to work. What? You come inside here half hour late, and on top of all that, you're gonna bring the goddamn cop with you, too? What are you talking, cop? He ain't no cop. That's Dirty Harry himself, man. What the fuck is wrong with you gonna bring him in here? You calling me a cop? You definitely a cop. He ain't no cop. He's my nephew. Well, the dude is definitely bad luck. I don't know what he is to you. He's bad luck to me. Bad luck? I'll fucking tell you it's bad luck. My friend's in a prison body shop fixing all the cars that he smashed that day because you had to fuck around. This guy's a fucking clown. Hey, what is, wait a second. What the fucking cop? I'm checking you for a wire, man. You ain't no cop. fucking yeah, yeah. Oh, Why can't I check you if he ain't a cop? Oh, oh, if he ain't wired, why can't I stop the boat? Why can't I frisk him? Why can't I frisk him? Why won't he let me frisk him then? Cut the bullshit. Why can't I frisk him if he ain't got the wire? Cut the bullshit, man. Look, I got 2,000 blank American Express cards right now. Gold. You got the money? You want to do business or what? I have the money and I do want to do business, but with you, I ain't doing nothing in front of this dude because this dude is a cop. I know when I can smell a pig inside the room. I used to be a Muslim, man, and I know that's Park over here. And then, yes, Park. It's definitely Park. I ain't doing shit around this dude, man. You want to do business? You know where to find me. Fuck you, man. Allahu Akbar. You calling me a cop? Come here, come here. Hey, hey, hey. 